amen, amen, and amen, 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 amen. Again today, amen, I uh, greet you, amen, in the um, <clears throat> precious name of Jesus. Amen, which is the name, amen, that is above every name. Amen, just trying to get a little comfortable here. Amen, again, I give God all the honor. I give him the praise, amen, I give him the glory, amen, and I magnify and I exalt, amen, the name of God, amen. I welcome you, amen, again, to the voice of one, amen, crying out in the wilderness, amen, because I'm no one special, amen, I'm not a prophet, I'm not, amen, a bishop, I'm not, amen, an overseer here with gimmicks and gain, amen, I'm just a voice, amen, I'm just, I'm just one that said, Lord, send me, amen, here I am, amen, I'm just a voice of one just crying out, amen, in the wilderness, amen, and I just thank God, amen, again, for each of you that pray with me, pray for me, amen, and stand with me in this hour, amen, even as I, amen, stand in the gospel of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, amen, go ahead and get someone, grab a neighbor, get a friend, amen, if not now, get someone later, you all join in, amen, and, and come together, amen, and hear, amen, what God has to say, amen, unto to us on today. Amen. Glory to God. And right now, amen, before I begin anything, amen, I'm, I'm just so excited uh, because God is just, just doing some miraculous things. Amen. And um, it's not yet time for, amen, me to share, but it, there will be a time, amen, for me to share. But again, I just thank God. And right now I just want to, amen, go ahead and go in prayer. Amen. Father, we come before you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, I pray, God, that you move on every home, that you move, God, today on every heart, right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, right now in Jesus' name, God, these are your people. Father, these are not mine. God, speak unto your people. God, allow your Shekinah glory to be prevailed uh, over these airways today, over this social media today. Even now, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, those that join in later, oh God, let your spirit prevail. Oh Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, I lift up every leader right now in the name of Jesus. Father, right now, God, that you bring us on one accord. God, that you move by your spirit. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Again, 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 amen. God bless you. Amen. Again, in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. I welcome you. Amen. Again. Amen. To the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Amen. Feel free. Amen. To join in with with us, amen, on every Tuesday at 7 p.m., Thursday at 7 p.m., and now, amen, we're coming on, amen, on Sundays at 8.15 a.m., amen, on Sunday morning, and the only thing, amen, that we're doing what God gave me, we're just breaking the bread of life, amen, this is not a religion, this is not a tradition, amen, this is not a formality, this is not a religion, amen, this is something that we are doing, amen, just break the bread of life. Amen. Because when we're dead, amen, the only way to live again is the bread of life. And that bread of life is Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Again, also, I want to thank God. Amen. For all of the leaders. Amen. Um, that is, amen, that where God have us on one accord. Amen. And which is one main thing. Amen. That is to live right, live holy. Amen. And to reap the harvest. Amen. In this hour. Amen. Glory to God. Listen, um, we're going to go to Galatians, the fifth chapter. Amen. And verse one. Because what God is saying uh, to us in this hour, that it is time to, amen, expose Satan. So what we are doing today, God told me, I, I want you to expose Satan. We need to move out traditions and denominations, religion and formalities, and it is time now to break 
the cycle because we are one in the body of Christ. But I'm getting ready to break some news to somebody today. Amen. So hold on to your seat. Amen. Because you're getting ready to fly high up on a rocket. Amen. When you hear, amen, what God has to say in this hour. Now, I'm, I'm really not going to get into the, the whole entire chapter here. But what Paul was saying here, particularly, amen, to us in the in the body of Christ. Yes, he was speaking, amen, to the Galatians. And he was also speaking to other people because that spirit lurks throughout the body of Christ. And what I need you to understand today, that God is not speaking just to one particular, one particular denomination or one particular religion. But this goes throughout the body of Christ. And there was some spirit. Spirits, amen, that had lurked back then, which is the same spirit, amen, that have lurked, that's lurking today. And as I have a rule, what I say, amen, the game is the same. It's just the players that change, amen, the same thing yesterday, today, and it will be forevermore. There is nothing new under the sun. Glory to God. Come on here, somebody. Somebody say, break it to me, break it to me. And here I am here today, amen, to break this thing down and to break it to you on today. Somebody need deliverance and somebody, amen, today needs some freedom in Jesus Christ. And not under a denomination or a religion. Come on here, somebody. Listen at me what God is saying today. Now. What crept into Galatia? Now, Paul wasn't just speaking to, amen, one particular church, but he was speaking to the whole Galactical. Amen. I'm speaking to the whole Jacksonville. I'm speaking to the whole New York. I'm speaking to the whole California. I'm speaking to, amen, the body of Christ because that same spirit has lurked into the body of Christ today. Now, what has happened and what has went on in the body of Christ. Now, right here, Paul began to explain to the body of Christ about being not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Now, listen here. This is a twofold thing. Now, this is twofold. And I told you I love amen twofold. But first, we're going to get with the first fold. Amen. The first fold of this message is to be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Amen. Once God has set us free, God does not want us, amen, to go back into the yoke of bondage. Okay, uh, Bradley, pastor, amen, tell me what are you saying? Am I in bondage today? If you are caught up in denomination, you are in bondage. If you are caught up in religion, you are in bondage. If you are caught up in formality, then you are in bondage. Amen. Come on here, somebody. If. You are caught up in traditions. Yes, you are in bondage. Let me explain something to you here today. Now, <coughs> somebody is finna break free today. Glory to God. Now, salvation, and I don't care how long you've been saved, but you have no deliverance in you. You just sitting in one stage. Why? Because you are part of a denominations which only you're a different branch of a church. You got a head church or, or what have you, and then you have the different churches. So you are part of a branch, amen, of a church. Or a house of prayer. Or a synagogue. One of them. Amen. Then you have. Traditions. I don't care how long you have been saved. You have been following after a tradition. And not God. Now see the traditions of God. Is to live holy. The traditions of God. Is to live right. The traditions of God. Is to stop 
at a set and you're not married. The traditions of God is to be ye holy for I am holy, saith the Lord. That is the traditions of God and not the traditions of a church. A tradition is somewhat like a ritual. Most of them. I mean, now, now let's look at some things now. Let's look at it. Let's look at some things. And I know I'm not like, but I don't care if I'm not like. Amen. God hired me and ain't nobody going to come in here and fire me. Amen. Glory to God. Listen here. Listen. Now this is what, what is being taught here today. Now. Traditions. Have a soul caught up. Till we lose sight on God. We into the singing in church. We into the jumping in church. We into the shouting in church. We're used to the falling out in the church. We're used to everybody got a prophecy in the church. And everybody want to lay hands uh, in the church. But the work is not in the church. Uh, the work is in the harvest. The work is in the vineyard. Listen. Formalities. <laughs> If you're caught up in a formality, guess what? Guess what? Then you are caught up in a requirement or some form of a regulation or some form of some bylaws and some form, amen, of some rules that you are caught up in. There's also religion. You can be saved, but you're caught up in a religion, which is a certain belief. Well, I don't believe a woman can preach. So you caught up over there uh, where a woman can't preach. And then you got another one over here that don't believe, <coughs> amen, that you can't wear pants or what have you. So therefore, there were the religions come in because there are different beliefs. But the only belief that we are supposed to be believing in is that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God and he came to preach the gospel. He didn't here to come talk about no clothes or no shoes. Amen. He did not come here, amen, to adorn himself with Raymond as a king even though he was a king. But he came humble. And he walked lowly, lowly before God. Now listen, I'm going to enlighten you by exposing Satan here. Now listen, right here in Galactia, what they did is they picked up a spirit. Whereas, what did they pick up a spirit from? <coughs> Excuse me. They actually turned from God. The gospel in which Paul began to preach and what he taught and the teaching came from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Galactia went over to a new teaching. In other words, they abandoned the true teaching of God. I can't help it. Baby, I just get excited when, when, when it's about God. Because God is tired of this mess and this phoniness that's going on in the body of Christ today. Anything is going on in the church today. You got pastors marrying two men and two women into the house of God. They have made God's house a house of whoredoms. Anything can come in and sing in the choir. You will not get yourself up in that pulpit if you're not right with God. At first, you're going to get to that altar, baby. You're going to purge and you're going to get right with God. Anything is going on. You have sinners in the street that, that's not even regarding God anymore. And it does not grieve your spirit to see the world that's copying after the body of Christ. If it does not grieve you, something is wrong with you. Somebody had some wrong upbringing if 
you comfortable with that. Glory to God. Listen here, somebody. I'm here to tell you the truth. <coughs> you cannot expect to go to heaven if you got a wretched, messed up, nasty life while you here on earth. Because this is the dressing room. Listen. Listen. Paul specifically was writing to what he told Galactica. But it's to us today also because we have turned from God. And we can't help it. We can't see it because we don't follow after the first bishop and that bishop and that bishop and that bishop and, and that overseer and that overseer and that overseer and that bishop and that bishop and, and from there on from there on all the way down to 1925 and even further than that. Because it is a path. And as I begin to share before, all of these four criticals, uh, these four criticals, denomination and tradition and religion and formality, this come from Satan. This was not from God. You will not find in heaven no different types of people of a church or denomination. It will be only a people that will worship in our Lord and our Savior and our King, our Master, the Wonderful, the Counselor, the Prince of Peace, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Lion out of the tribe of Judah, the Bright and Morning Star. There are no diversities. <clears throat> Amen. There are no diversities in heaven. That same spirit hath came and it hath crept into us today. Because we have turned from the truth. Some of us act like we want to look holy. Amen. We want to go and, and get something, that, some fine purple and some fine linen. Amen. And you want to walk in the house of God like you just, like you've been in a mountain like Moses was with Jesus. Amen. And you're full of garbage and you're full of mess. You got the limelight. You got those with the limelight sitting in into the body of Christ. Not caring about soul. You you so you so worried about being shown and, and being seen. What about the souls? And what you do should be done in secret. Not to be seen and not to be heard. Listen, saints of God, it's time for us to wake up. Listen, because God has some stuff. God has some things for us to do. I, 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 I get country. Even though I'm a city girl, but I got a whole lot of, amen, country in me. Amen, God. God would, amen, he country. Amen. He didn't say the, he said the, thou. Amen. Come on here, somebody. Glory to God. Amen. So we, are, we have to get our stuff together. We got to get it right. There's some things that God wants to do in our lives. Uh, but we got to be able to come together as one. You got to drop that pride and that arrogance that's in you. You can't go by what your sister say. You got to go with God say. Half of you ain't moved nowhere in God yet. Because you going by what somebody done told you. Instead of listening to God. Stop listening to people. Many of you right now. <clears throat> You're in controversy. Oh no, no, that 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 man ain't right what he preaching. Or uh, uh, you you know, Amen. God is dealing with you to let you know, Amen. Who is of him and who is of not? But you're set up, Amen, and go share, Amen. What God is giving you to somebody else, and then here they are negative. You need to get them negativity people from around you. You will never grow in God. Stop telling your business. Stop telling everything. And go to God for yourself. And let God elevate you. Let God, amen, begin to move you up. Somebody out there, you got hands that heal. 
but you're not allowing God to use your hands. Uh, some of you sitting up on a gift. I'm, I'm reminded in the, Bi in the Bible that the word of God say it's like fire that shut up in my bones. Uh, you want to do some things for God so bad right now. But you're caught up. But God is releasing you out of that today. Right, and I claim it right now in the name of Jesus that God is releasing on today because God is going to bring up a remnant that will obey, that will do what he say, that will go wherever he say go, that will humble themselves before God. And then once we begin to do that, we have heard what God has said. And I see healing coming. I see God restoring everything that the canker worm and the palmer worm and the caterpillar and the wormwood has taken away from you. That God is going to restore everything. God is going to restore, amen, that marriage, that husband. Amen. God is bringing restoration in those children. Amen. I see some children, amen, where they have risen up against you. It's almost like they the seed of Satan where they are. Because they're being used by Satan just to make war and fight with you. But listen. Glory to God. God is getting ready to turn everything around. And I can guarantee you that and you can take that to the bank. Amen. That God is getting ready to turn everything around in your life. Amen. God is getting ready to separate you. Amen. It's going to be just you and God. And it's going to be God and you. Amen. You're not going to even, you're, you're hearing God is clicking somebody ear right now. You're not going to be able to be comfortable listening to everything. God is working on somebody's mouth right now. You're not going to be able to say what you you want to say out your mouth because God is getting ready to speak out of your loins. Glory to God. Listen here. Listen. Listen. God is doing something in this hour. God is shaking, shaking his remnant. I don't care where you are. I don't care how long you've been sitting in a church. I don't care how long you've been an officer of that church. Being a member, following a tradition and following, amen, after a denomination and following, amen, after a formality or a religion. God is stirring up right now. He's stirring up. I hear somebody saying, yes, Lord, I will go. Yes, Lord, I will obey. Yes, right now. God is doing that right now. Even those of you out there that's listening under the sound of my voice, you may not be saved. God is calling you right now. God is calling you, listening, and I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. Uh, warning comes before destruction. Don't let the devil steal what God has for you. And I'm claiming it right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, he has no power. Not like God. Don't let the devil steal what God has for you. Many of you calling. Many of you can hear people conversations. That's gifted. That's God letting you know something. Many of you see visions and dreams. And I'm, now, now let me back up about those dreams. Now I'm not talking about people that's done dream about they toe was big and they fell in water and they husband was somewhere else. I'm not talking about them type of dream because honey, God do not deal with dreams like that. The dreams that God deal with is the end times uh, or what's going on. A dreamer uh, uh, is almost like, amen, a prophet that says what does say at the Lord. When God speak to the prophet, then the prophet have to go and tell, amen, what what God has said. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody say hallelujah. It's just like. Joseph. Joseph was able to interpret dreams. But these dreams was not. Crazy dreams. 
that you was driving a Mercedes and it turned into a bicycle and you want to call and you want to find out what that means and you dream about 32 and 26. You better go read that song and find out what God is saying. If not the song, you better go find a scripture in the Bible because that does not mean that God is giving you a number to go and play to no dog right or to no high leo or go play no lotto. That is not God. God does not deal with anything on this earth where moth and rust do come. Corrupt. Glory to God. Somebody say hallelujah. Listen. Right now. Right now. Oh, God. Right now. Many of you that's under the sound of my voice and now or even later, just tell God yes. Tell God, yes, he's already speaking to you. There's no need to say, Lord, speak to me because he's already speaking to you. Amen. And, 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 and with me, this is not just a one thing, a one time. Amen. God is only bringing confirmation to you to what he have already told you and spoken to you about. This is just confirmation. Listen, it's time. Leaders, it's time. It's time. Whether you humble or whether you don't, it's between you and God. But I thank God for those where we have came together and willing to come together and willing to go in the street and willing to go reap the harvest while it is yet harvest time. Jesus did not, listen, I got to say this before I leave. Jesus did not where do we get this? Okay, man, the devil. Satan brought this out. You know why I can say that Satan used man to come out with the freedom of religion to have these four criticals? Because it's keeping us separated from God. It's keeping us from being on one accord. I mean, and, and basically is is contrary to what God has even spoken in his word. God said there's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Amen. It's just as simple as that. Listen, I'm, I'm just I just want to share this. Somebody needs some understanding here on today because somebody and got it. Listen. God has called us. Each person have a unique and special gift. We have one that speaks to the body of Christ to get right, like Ezekiel or Isaiah or Jeremiah. Those were prophets that spoke to Israel, which was the people of God, which were, amen, the Christians, to say what thus saith the Lord. Amen. God also has those that he uses with special gifts. Those gifts are to be used to reap the harvest. Those gifts are to be used for the work of the ministry. Amen. Some people just ain't got it. If, 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 you're, if you're sitting down and you're doing the same thing, same repetitions, same thing, you just going to church. <laughs> That's all you're doing. You're just going to the synagogue. Amen. And if you are called to be something in God you can't stay still and you will not be able to help it because it will be in your spirit to reap the harvest if you're not reaping the harvest and have that yearning in your spirit for those that are lost you need to get it because you ain't got it amen the world needs to see the body of Christ. The world sees 
so much in a church. They see Farrakhan people out there. They see the Islamic religion out there. Even uh, what they call it, the Mormons, Jesus Christ of the Latter Day Saints. So they supposed to be some new saint, and I guarantee you, they is not. They are not the remnant. Amen. That say that they obey that God is calling. Amen. I promise you that, because uh, the the man that instituted, I can't call his name right now, but he he received a vision that he say, and God told him that he was the the savior and that he was the redeemer. And there's only one savior and only one redeemer. So we know that is a lie. But they're out there. People see them. And you know what is happening? We are losing souls every day because of our actions, because of our attributes. Number one, we show no love, no compassion, no kindness. Half of you will get up there and say amen so loud and you mean as a rattlesnake. Yeah, if you have a husband, you won't cook, you won't clean, your house nasty, your car nasty, everything about you nasty. Amen. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Amen. Heaven is clean. Heaven ain't, ain't nasty. Amen. I don't care if you're living outside. Get a rake. Keep the leaves out. Amen. Keep it clean. But love, love and kindness, Jesus saying, have I drawn thee? And we must have that same love and kindness to draw others. Amen. And that's not, it's almost like we are being selfish with our salvation. Leaders, you need, you need to get them homosexuals out of office. Get them lesbians out of office. Them whoremongers out of office. The wine bibblers out of office. Out of office. The fornicators out of office. The adulterers out of office, the thieves out of office, and I'm not just talking about the thief over the money, I'm talking about a thief that overtakes a baby in Christ being a wolf, amen we have to give an accountable to every soul that we, that we come up to every soul, we will be held accountable we will have accountability over that soul and if we live like we don't care, we're going to have to answer to God. Amen for that soul. Listen, I'm going to pray right now. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, I just first want to thank you for your word. God, I just thank you for moving by your spirit on today. God, I thank you for touching every leader, every heart, God, that was under the sound of my voice, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. And God, I know that you're moving right now. God, I know salvation is coming through right now. God, I know restoration and deliverance is coming through right now. And God, I know that every fetter of a chain is being broken and the yokes is being destroyed right now, God. I thank you. Thank you, Lord. All the glory belong to you. For you to receive all the glory, all the honor. We give all of you, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you. And I count it done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen. We have to be held accountable. Amen. And I'm, and I'm talking to leaders. Amen. Just because you got a brother... Amen. That came in church. You don't put him as no sister pastor and he not ready. He haven't even got his foot wet. He don't know what it's like to fast. He don't know what it's like to pray. He don't know what a, he or she don't know what it's like. Amen. To intercede and, and stand in the gap. We good at promoting our family members to be prophets and prophetess and bishops and all this type of thing and people not ready. And, and I'm going to share something with you. When people is not ready, if whether you know it or not, you probably just don't know, but I'm here to tell you. When we place titles on people, you're actually sending the gates of hell in their life because Satan 
is going to bring and launch such an attack on their life, <clears throat> they're not going to be able to withstand. And they're going to fall. You know why they're going to fall? Because you done pushed a piece of paper on them and you have gave them an elevation that they're not ready. Some may still come to church too, but they done fail. They cussing, they drinking, but they make sure they come to church and they make sure they do due diligence. Amen. But they still does not have that walk with God. And we have to be careful who we are allowing in that pulpit. This is, listen, I, I need to say this. This is God. You have to be very careful who you are letting come in that pulpit. Everybody with a name or a title do not belong in that pulpit. The pulpit is like the altar. It is sacred. Every minister of the gospel should be fasted up, not full of Burger King and McDonald's and coffee before they get to church. Amen. Or eating spaghetti or collard greens before they get to church. Amen. But must be in fasting and praying and looking out in the vineyard of that church to see who, amen, need deliverance. So we have to be careful about who we are allowing in the pulpit because Sometimes you think you have people in the pulpit and they actually praying against you and you don't even know it. Amen. But that, that's just something that had to be added out. Amen. To share that we have to be very, very careful. The disciples was very careful in who they chose. Amen. To do office for God. Amen. They were very, very careful. And they did not let anybody just, just come in. Amen. And just do stuff because they was Uncle John or cousin cousin Jenny or anybody like that. Look, I'm I'm a hey, the words say whosoever, whosoever do the will of my father, that's my brother, that's my mama, and that's my sister. Not blood. Amen. The blood of the lamb, but not by earthly blood, because that earthly blood is flesh. Amen. Listen, I, I thank God for you on today. And um, again, I give God all the honor and the praise and I give him the glory. Amen. For uh, what he is doing in this hour. And um, you all continue. Amen. To pray. Um, I'm here. Um, if you have any questions or concerns about things, contact me. You can contact me on Messenger. Um, and if, if, no, I'm not going to say that. Let, 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 let me just back up a little bit. I'm not go I was going to say if the word is a blessing to you, but the word should be a blessing. Amen. But whatever God has done for you through, amen, the ministering of breaking the bread of life, share. Share, like, subscribe, amen, and, and just let people know. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. So again, I am excited. Amen. To what God, amen, is doing in this hour. You all just stay encouraged. Amen. We all fall. We all fall. We all have fallen short of the glory of God. The Bible says there is none righteous. No, not one. Amen. Because we were still born in the flesh. But I'm um, again, like Paul said, Amen. Daily, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God. Amen. Um, so we're pressing and pursuing daily. Amen. When we fall, you have just get up and, and keep moving on and just don't keep falling in that same trap anymore. Amen. Now, God bless you. And I love you. And, and let's do this thing together. Amen. Uh, about the four critical and let us all come together and let us expose Satan. Now let's expose his dirtiness and nastiness. Amen. To what he has done and still pursuing and try to initiate. Amen. On today. Listen, God bless you. And I love you in the precious name of Jesus. And guess what? We are 
going to make it. God bless you.